Yeah, I know it's been a while since we had something on the internet. I'm not going to just throw something up there to throw something up there, Bob. If you have something for us to review, we'll gladly, you know, take a look at it. But I'm not going to just start making things up. Well, I don't know. What do you want me to do? All right, I'll see if there's anybody. Hey, can you hold on a second? There's uh, somebody knocking at the door. Give me a second. Hey, something came in the mail. And what's up there guys, Galactic Force Media here with a review. I know that it has been some time since we put anything out. I think the last thing was the Boba Fett re-armored uh, a few months ago and haven't really done much since. Been doing a lot of stuff with uh, my real job at work. But I got a uh, wonderful email from the guys over at uh, Xcoser which is an international cosplay company. I believe they're based out of China. And they sent me a random email and said, hey, you know, we uh, saw your uh, Mandalorian cosplay um, review back from last October, and we would love if you can guys can review a helmet. And I clicked on the link. They sent me a link to the helmet. And it, uh, well, we're going to find out what's in here. This is a, a helmet that is currently only, from what I understand, from what I've seen online, only available through them. Uh, there have been some um, third party that have created, all, as well as the 3D printing, printing community has made these already. But uh, this is the first company that I saw actively selling. Uh, if I'm wrong, you know, please let me know in the comments. But uh, they sent me a uh, uh, please review ASAP. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna cut it open into this box and we're gonna check it out. So let's take the big Bowie knife and we're gonna go right into it. I was very, I was very excited to be talking to Xcoser directly and going through the details of uh, this uh, review. So just to let you know, yes, Xcoser did give this helmet to me for free. They also said that I can keep it. I do not have to send it back. I'm gonna give my honest review with this. So we have our box packaged nicely. We have our styrofoam on top we can actually put that over there and here's the inside again packaged nicely now it's not going to have one of those fancy black series helmet boxes that you see with all the designs and everything it's just it's just the helmet in the box so what character did x coaster give me today let's pull out this and this and if you've seen the bad batch whoops you know Rekka. We have the Wrecker Xcoaster helmet directly from Xcoaster. And I have to say, uh, first time opening this up, this looks awesome. Um, this looks, I mean, this might be a resin cast. It's definitely, it doesn't have that normal plastic smell, but it, let's, it's it's solid. This is a solid helmet. Well, there it is, uh, folks. It's it's the wrecker, and there there's your review. Have a nice day. No, just kidding. Um, solid helmet. It's this has to be resin. This and and I'll tell you right now, this is definitely hand painted. This is definitely hand painted. You can, yeah, that's yeah. This I, this is this has to be this has to be a resin cast. This looks awesome. Thank you, Coaster. I appreciate it. So there you go. So you're saying, you know, hey, I've done helmet reviews before, my, you know, me and my wife. What sets this aside from a regular uh, helmet? Well, if you compare it to a, let's see. Well, we have a Black Series helmet right here. Right off the bat, you can see size-wise, this is definitely one of those mass-produced, one-size-fits-all, very big. I always felt the Black Series helmets were a little bigger than... Uh, stuff that I've printed myself. Uh, again, this is our first X Coaster helmet, so I'm, we'll do a couple of size comparisons. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the Black Series helmet, it, it looks it looks plasticky. It looks like it's just a mass produced, uh, you know, here it is, um, throw it on. It, a lot of the times they don't fit. We're gonna try this guy on. But if you go based off of a helmet that I've printed myself, get this out of the way. So this is the Short Trooper helmet that I've printed, and let's get the, oh God, and let's also, of course, the visor. Let me just fix that visor. 
we also 3D printed our own um, Scout Trooper helmet, and I believe the visor popped out, but that's fine. This is just for size purposes. I feel that printing, 3D printing and the casting so far from what I've seen from these guys is, it's more uh, size, uh, it's not like one of those one size fits all. Like, I mean, if I put this on right now, it, it's, it's, it just, it doesn't, it's, it bounces off, there we go. Like, see that, see it, like, you gotta do a lot of putting in your own padding and whatnot. Uh, into the Black Series helmets, but if you let's just let's try it on. Let's just give it. Let's give it a try on. I, I also feel based off of my own helmets I've printed, it just has that more of a realistic. Like they put some work into it. I mean, this has to be hand painted. I mean, check that out, guys. Check that out. So and no, you know what? And here, here's another thing right off the bat that I do to my own helmets. They put padding in. They put padding in for us. Something dropped on the floor. What is this? Whoa! We have a face mask. So, like all the other um, helmets that I've done with the cosplay, you always make sure you put one of these on. So you know what, let's just do it. I obviously can't wear them with my glasses. But let's see, does the X Coaster helmet fit right out of the box? Hi, how are you? All right, of course I don't have anybody telling me if this looks like it's on properly or not, but let's just go and throw it on there. Huh. Okay. So, first thing off the bat, it's not pushing up against my nose. And I have a pretty big nose. So, it's not pushing up against the nose. Of course, I would need a little bit more padding around the around the top, but this is a really good start. Again, to compare to a Black Series helmet. This is my biggest, ugh, it's my biggest complaint with the Black Series helmet. You have, you have to put in, um, a ton of padding and, and, and they're always too big. I'm sure you've all seen the Bad Batch. I actually, I have the Bad Batch Wrecker uh, figure that this is uh, from the show and everything based off of. The, uh, I mean, again, we're looking at a 112 scale to a one to one scale right here, but comparing the two, they have everything from the holes on the front, the whiskers area, and the air holes on the front. Everything looks, and I'll show a close up of that also. But yeah, very good. I, I definitely do recommend. Um, it's on Amazon. I believe the price at the time of this filming was $150 for the helmet. Now, a little bit more expensive than a Black Series helmet. I believe the Black Series helmets are going anywhere from $99 to $129, depending if you get the you know, Simple Stormtrooper or I believe the Mandalorian and Boba Fett right now are probably on the higher side. Up to anywhere up to $120, $129. Uh, again, that price changes every day on Amazon. I look at their other helmets online and they have Captain Cody, Captain Rex, uh, they have a tank trooper helmet from the Mandalorian. I mean, the, the list goes on and I, I feel maybe there's just a little bit more love that went into this because the, the way that it, it's created than just, you know, the way Hasbro uh, is, is making their stuff. Not that I'm knocking Hasbro's helmets, but, you know, I, I definitely do feel um, that you're getting a pretty good value, especially if this was resin casted. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed guys. Um, send me another one. This is awesome. I, I, I this, this is going to go really nice in the, uh, in the, in the Star Wars themed basement where we have helmets all over the rooms. You know what we should do? We should go with, so I know we usually have, you know, the wife, she's usually in here with us. I don't even think she knows about this. Um, I just came down on, I happened to be off from work today and I just, I had to get this done. Um, we're going to go find her. She's definitely somewhere upstairs or outside doing something. We're going to see what she thinks about this. I always like getting her reaction on things. Um, so we're going to go do that now. So come on, let's go. All right. So she's not upstairs. So she's probably outside. Again, she doesn't know about this. Let's see what she thinks of the Wrecker, Wrecker helmet. She's not in the backyard. 
she's weed whacking. Hey, yo, did you know a package came? Oh, who from? Uh, do you know X Coaster? Yeah. Yeah, they're the ones that we did the Mandalorian one for. So they hit me up and they were like, yo, you want to do, well, they didn't say yo, but they were like, can you please do a review for us and you can keep whatever we send you. And they gave what? a, yeah. So you get the toys. Yep. And you, I'm stuck out here doing Yes. George. Well, I mean, I was going to do it, but you, you just, get out of here. okay. And uh, there you go. So <laughs> did you like, do you like it at least? It looks cool. Yeah. I mean, put it on. Here you go. So yeah, any females out there looking to get the Wrecker helmet? How does it feel? It actually feels really good. I think I could keep going with it. Bye. <laughs> no, no, I gotta finish the video. All right, and there you go. She she approves. Bye. Bye. So yeah, this is uh very comfortable. I don't know if you can hear me with the muffle or not, but uh the uh. The eyepiece is actually tinted. The eyepiece is actually tinted. There you go. There's sides. So I feel like I'm wearing sunglasses and that's really cool. Thank you, x -Coser. I love doing these videos for you guys. If there are any other companies out there, please reach out to me, galacticforcemedia at gmail.com. So like, subscribe, comment, have a good day. May the force be with you and talk to you guys soon with the next review or next funny video. See you later.